Of all the feasts in the Christian calendar, it is Christmas that brings great joy and happiness and tenderness in the hearts and homes of all of us. It is because the scene of Christmas is a very simple scene. A mother, a child and a father. There is nothing special in this scene and yet there is such great attraction. Attraction because the simplicity and not glamour that finally brings a message home to all of us. And that is Christmas. Thousands of drawings have been drawn. Thousands of verses have been written. Thousands of songs have been sung. All on this little scene of Bethlehem. It is the poverty and not the riches. It is the little baby and not gentlemen. It is the little home of Bethlehem and not the clogged cities of the metropolis that attracts finally our hearts. That is the power of Christmas. That is the splendor of Christmas. That is the greatness of Christmas. Infinity in bonds. Greatness in littleness and God in a little child. That is the beauty of Christmas. God in bonds. God in a small, infant, fragile child. Unfortunately, our culture tends to spoil the scene of Christmas. We are today up to commercializing the Christmas message. The beauty of Christmas is spoiled because we have not understood the core of Christmas. What is worse is that many of our friends who belong to other faiths have come to associate Christmas with Santa Claus. Santa Claus seems to be playing a central role in today's Christmas. A old man with a white beard, a big belly with a bag on his shoulders. And that is all Christmas means for many of us. The place of Jesus has been given over to Santa Claus. Today in our Christmas, Jesus is missing. And that is the tragedy of today's celebration of Christmas. A teacher asked once her students in the class to draw a picture of Christmas. Out of 40 children, 30 of them have drawn Santa Claus. Only 9 of them Christmas tree. And only one child drew something like a baby child. This is what we have done to Christmas. Christmas would mean today Santa Claus and not baby Jesus. Mary, Joseph and Jesus have disappeared from the scene and we have commercialized Christmas. Who has to be blamed for this? I think you and me, all of us are responsible for allowing Christmas to deteriorate to this stage. What is required today is this, that we must put back Jesus to Christmas. And only when we do it, we'll be able to celebrate Christmas meaningfully. There's a beautiful story that I came across recently. The parish priest just celebrated the Midnight Mass. And then it was time to install baby Jesus in the crib that was prepared by the youngsters. All of them had gathered around the crib. And the parish priest came 
to install baby Jesus and bless the crib. The youth who had prepared the crib were all in panic. Everything was there. The statues were in their places. The angel was above the crib. The shepherds and the sheep were on the hillocks. But in the cave, the statue of baby Jesus was missing. And it was too late to bring another statue of baby Jesus. The youth were wondering how to escape from this embarrassing scene. But then the parish priest came forward and told the youth not to worry. He said, this is exactly the scene of our parish. Christ is missing. Friends, today, this is what we realize in our Christmas. Everything else is there. The glamour, the choirs, the carols, the cribs, Christmas trees, gifts, cakes. Everything is present. But probably what is absent is baby Jesus. Jesus is missing in our lives, in our Christmas. And it is this message that I would like to give, that we must put back Jesus in Christmas. We must put back Jesus in our lives. We must put back Jesus in our society. Only when He comes into our lives, comes into our homes and our society, our society will finally realize the meaning and the purpose of Christmas. On my own behalf and behalf of all the Jesuits of Karnataka province, I wish each one of you Merry Christmas and the joy of Christmas. Thank you.